I'm gonna start a new series of videos which will be shorter teachings and sharing a wisdom which I received from the Lord. Mostly what the Holy Spirit has put on my heart to share with the body of Christ. These are gonna be shorter videos with less editing and mostly to be able to share quickly some of the important and pressing matters that the Holy Spirit is leading me to share with everyone. Matthew 26 verse 41 says, Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. This is the Lord Jesus speaking to the apostles. When they are sleeping in the garden of Gethsemane, they cannot stay up and pray with them. At first, one might think that the Lord is giving us permission or understanding that our flesh is weak and therefore it is okay to fall either into temptation or to fall altogether for he understands that we're weak in the flesh but when we look carefully and understand the full meaning of the greek original text then we see a completely different message in fact the word weak is astenes I'm reading here from the Strong's Concordance 772. Astenes. And astenes means without strength or weak, which is what the translation in the King James says, rightly so. But upon further consideration, I read to you, it says, living in a state of weakness, depletion, refers to a lack of necessary resources or insufficient. What the Lord is saying is the flesh is insufficient. Not so much weak as in will fall into temptation, but rather saying that doesn't have the necessary strength to do what the spirit instead can do. What the Lord is saying is that we can do, not do things on our own forces, on our own strength on our own merit, with our own works, but instead that we rely on this spirit who lives in us and will carry us to do things that on our own strength we cannot do. The Lord is not justifying sin or saying that it's okay to be weak and that he understands. On the contrary, the Lord is saying to live and walk in the spirit because it is the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit, living in us, which gives us the strength, working through us, to do what the flesh cannot do. Do not count on your own righteousness, but do not think that living in sin will allow you to be justified. For we know what he says in 1 John 3, verse 6, Whosoever abided in him, sin it not whosoever sin it it's not sin him neither know him the reminder here is to abide in the lord jesus christ as we read in john 15. it is that power of the holy ghost living in us which allow us not to live a life of sin times are short brothers and sisters the return of the lord is close and while we do not the day and the hour, we certainly understand that we are in the times of the end. And if you watch any of the other videos on this channel, and more video I will continue to post, we're actually given evidence that we are in the end of times. And while this is not our wisdom and I'm not here on my own merit, I'm here to encourage you and to remind you that we have to walk in truth. And truth does not mean that once you have walked down an aisle once and you have said that you believe in the Lord Jesus and then return to your life backsliding or leaving the faith altogether, that in fact your name is still heading for the kingdom of God. But I invite you to return fully to the Lord Jesus Christ, to give your life to him, to allow the Holy Spirit to work through you. And that power will lead you to a life and a new man, which as per Ephesians 4.24,
the new man is created in God or after God in righteousness and true holiness. And we know from Hebrews 12, 14, that without holiness, no one will see the Lord. I invite you, brothers and sisters, to return to the Word of God, not to follow man or women, not me, but the Word of God, and not be separated from your God through his sinful life, as it says in Isaiah 59, verse 2. For your iniquities have separated you from your God. I hope this message is blessing you. Let me know if you like this new series. It will be shorter videos, morning thoughts primarily, led by the Holy Spirit. May the peace and love of the Lord be with you. In Jesus' name, amen.